Hey y'all, this is the big fella. I'm about to smoke this counterfeit Cohiba. How do I know it's counterfeit? Well, I'm gonna move this real close. Take a look up, oh, you see that C? How that gold is touching the top of that band? Baby, that's a sure sign of some counterfeit activity going on, okay? Let me keep rotating it here. Oh, do you see that B filled in? That's not the band of a quality cigar maker that really puts a lot of money and technology in the band to keep it from being counterfeit. No, that's not a printing error. That is a counterfeit. And one more thing, I'm gonna rotate this around again real slow so you can see. Sorry, my eyes are looking that way because that's the screen with the cameras over here. Take a look at that top row of bands. Do you see a consistent cutoff on the top? Let me get it closer. No, you don't. You see the squares cut off a little bit on that side and then not cut off over there. That is another surefire way that you know that this isn't a Cohiba. Give me a second, I'll show you a good Cohiba man. Okay, I'm back. Now take a look at this. Now granted, what you saw before was kind of a rip on an older Cohiba band because they used to kind of look like this before. Now they look like this. Now first of all, look at the different color oranges in there. You see how this is a little lighter than that one? But take a look at the quality of that band. Hope you can see it really well here. That has got a nice, solid, even cut band all around. The squares are absolutely perfect. Take a look at that. Do you see this, 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 this section here? There is, um, uh, a hologram inside there. There is a hologram inside the hologram head here. Let me see if I can get it. Cause I can see it with my naked eye up. Uh, you can see it there a little bit. Uh, everything is raised. The detail on this is immaculate. This is the real deal. This is Memorex. If you see a cigar that's got mistakes on the label, and I can't remember where I got this from or how I got it, but uh, it's been hanging in the box uh, and in quarantine too. I keep my Cubans in quarantine because we don't want no issues. Um, yeah, uh, if you see mistakes on the label, that's a sign that things are, 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 are not that good. Uh, Cohiba has to, and, uh, uh, and all these other companies, have to put quality in the band. If you think about the changes in the dollar bill over the year with the little strands in it and all, and, and uh, using the markers and, and all the different ribbons and things like that in there, all of that is technology to help stop counterfeits. Well, because these are so heavily counterfeit, they've had to do the same thing. They gotta put the technology in the band. The cigars is good, but they gotta put their technology in the band so that you know you're getting a good quality quality cigar. Let me show you some other uh, cool things with some, some neat bands. All right. These are Monte Cristos. Take a look at these. Again, you're gonna see high quality bandage here. Now I'm pretty sure that this is a real deal cigar. Okay, I'm not so sure about this guy. It looks like it and maybe my readers can tell me, but do you see the difference in this gold band and that gold band? Could be from the year, it might not be. But I'm gonna rotate these around real low and slow. You've got a lot of glossy stuff going on there. The white dots in here uh, indicate to me this is a different error band. Um, 
it's still fairly tight, evenly applied. The dots are raised on that one. So you never know. You never know unless you get these jokers out of the box where you look at the bottom of the box and the letters are raised and the factory date they're produced is on there and then you turn over the box and up in the upper right hand corner it's got the habano and the and the right colors across the seal and then it's got the seal from cuba and unless you go through all that you really really don't know but i do know that this joker's fake i'm gonna clip it now I'm going to smoke it and I'm going to find out how fake it is. Question is, did this come from the actual factory and somebody slipped it out and put their label on to make money on it? Or is this uh, some cigar that's made someplace else that they slapped the band on it? Believe it or not, some of the fakes I've had taste pretty good. They're just fakes. So, word to the wise. Look at your band, do some research. There's plenty of sites online, especially with Cigar Aficionado, that give you some insight on what is a good band and what is a bad band. Listen, until something happens with the embargo, we got to do what we got to do. But let the buyer beware. Uh, if I'm fooled, guys that have been better than me at doing this have been fooled. Peace out.